How do we do? Do 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 do. <gasps> oh my goodness! What has happened to my house? Oh, it seems like it was blown away by a strong tornado! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh, looks like a small Iron Man. Uh... Oh, wow! Let me take you to Japan and learn about compact homes. They make the most out of limited space. I already have my passport with me. Let's go! <laughs> Here we are, in Tokyo, the capital city of Japan. <laughs> oh, look at all these buildings! Oh, it seems like many of them are in a square shape. <laughs> A square is a shape with four sides that have the same length. That's right! A square is a two-dimensional shape with length and width. You can also call it a 2D shape. We can see squares all around us. For example, chessboards, tiles, napkins and stamps. Huh? But these houses are not 2D, are they? Most objects we see in everyday life are three-dimensional. This 3D version of a square is known as a cube. 3D shapes like the cube have three dimensions, which are length, width, and height. 2D shapes are flat, with only length and width. Whereas 3D shapes also has depth, allowing it to take up physical space. We see cubes in our everyday lives. Ice cubes, sugar cubes, dice, alphabet blocks, moving boxes, and even Rubik's cubes. Whoa. <laughs> cool! Oh, look at this building! It's made completely out of cubes! <laughs> That's right, John. This is the Nakagin Capsule Tower. Each room in this building is shaped like a cube. This is one of the most famous examples of compact homes. 3D shapes are so much fun, Eddie! But when we study them, what properties should we look at? We can study 3D shapes by observing their faces, edges and vertices. Whoa, that's a lot of big names. Uh... It's uh, confusing. Faces are the flat surfaces of any given shape. And edges are the line where two faces meet. You can also think of edges as the line that connects two corners of a shape. Finally, vertices are the points where two or more edges meet. You can also think of these as the corners of a shape. John. Why don't we count the faces, edges, and vertices of a cube? One, two, three, four, five, six. A cube has six faces. Hmm. Let me count the edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The cube has 12 edges! That's so many! All we have left are the vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The cube has 8 vertices. Ah, so from what we have learned, a cube has 6 faces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices. Chipsters. Can you tell me how many faces this 3D object has? Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial! <laughs> <laughs>